Starting this hour off, Sacramento, California. Scott's with us. Hey, Scott, how are you? Good, how are you? Better than I deserve, man. What's up? All right, so I'm a teacher, and the way the pay works is that the more post-bachelor degree units that you have, the higher your pay is. So when you, when you reach a, thir- uh, a certain threshold, you'll move over on the pay scale to the right, and the further over to the right, the more money you make. So I'm trying to figure out if it makes sense to pursue a master's degree to get more post-bachelor degree units, or if I should do professional development seminars, which can give you units, but I'm not sure if it's worth doing 97 professional development seminars and paying for those units that route. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you can look at it several different ways. One way you would look at it, and it sounds like the way you're asking the question, is simply this. What does it cost to increase the boxes that you can check to the right? And then how much money do you get increased income due to that cost? So it's the cost versus the benefit analysis, right? So you spend $1,000 on either of these whether it's pursuing the master's or the professional development, and uh, your income goes up X, right? So is it worth it? Yeah, yeah it needs to go up, you know, and you get it every year with the income. You only spend the $1,000 once uh, on in either case, so that's good. The other thing that you can add to that is a collection of personal development seminars uh, really just gives you that collection. You do get all the knowledge from them. If, however, you did a collection that led to a master's degree, you do come out of that with a master's degree, which is a nice extra benefit to have that. So I'm probably going that route if the costs are similar. Okay, yeah. It, and from what I can gather, the cost for the master's is anywhere from 3 to 5x of what it takes to do the professional development. And the professional development, it might be a three-day seminar, so the commitment is far less. Yeah, but what's the return? Right. So, and it seems to me that it costs maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars per unit, uh, if you will, mm-hmm. on the professional development, where it costs around, from what I can gather, about five hundred dollars per unit if you're doing a master's program. Okay. And then, how much do they pay you? Increase your pay for a unit? So it, it's an increment of fifteen units. So if I did the master's, it would bump me over two whole columns, and that would be about a five thousand dollar per year pay increase. Okay. And the master's degree would cost what? About 15000 Okay. So in three years, you break even. And the personal development would cost you, uh, it, it sounds like, about 5000 Right. For the same amount of column movement. Did I do that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So one's three times more than the other. Both of them increase you about so you can spend five thousand. Can you do both? Doesn't do any good because um, there's only so many columns. Yeah, they, right. There, there's uh, f- yeah. five columns, I think. Yeah, if you did I mean, both, it doesn't. Column. Yeah, if you did both, it doesn't keep moving you along. It so you wouldn't get a return. Right. You could you could, you max out at a certain number of units, and then it's just yeah. You, you can't go any further over. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, just purely on the dollars, you would do the professional development, right? Five thousand yeah. gets you fifteen thousand, or uh, uh, I mean, five thousand gets you five thousand a year, or fifteen thousand gets you five thousand a year, right? Did I do that right? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, the, but so you know, you're paying ten grand for the privilege of having a master's. That get, that yeah. that does not increase your income. If I yeah, if I'm right. understanding your scenario right, that's now there's a of course the value then is do you want to have a master's and you know do you want to spend an extra ten thousand dollars in order to have that because that might have uses other times in your life to have that under your belt versus sixty seven professional development. Uh, one other question uh, that's a little bit uh, when you finish the same number of units of professional development versus the master's. Uh, have you increased your knowledge base more with the master's that gives you more job satisfaction? You're better at your job when you go to the master's or is it about the same or are the professional development actually better because they're more practical? 
I'm going to, if I had to guess, I'm going to say that the professional development would be a better increase in knowledge because there are so many different options, whereas a master's, you're more singularly focused. Okay. Is there any other reason you should do a master's then? Because you got better knowledge and less money spent on the professional development side. I'm just walking through this with you. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just helping you with the critical thinking path, okay? And yeah. so the only the thing only, I hear you're getting for that extra ten grand is substandard knowledge and a master's degree. Right. Yeah. It, it. I don't think it gives me anything other than the master's degree title unless yeah. I wanted to pivot later in my career. But I don't see myself wanting to stop teaching. I don't want to I don't want to move into administration. That sounds. Well, if like you did choose set. that, you can always go back and work on the master's later. But in the meantime, I'm going to jump on 5K for 5K, and let's get this professional development stuff under your belt. Get the increased knowledge, the increased joy of teaching, because you're better at it. And, um, and and you can always go back and do the master's later, and you may have a different direction with your master's if you're doing that, because you might be aiming at administration if you chose to make that, that shift in your track. That's just me thinking through it with you, dude. I, I'm not an expert on education uh, in, in terms of the your field or anything like that. I'm just looking at the return on investment and what's the quality of what I'm buying, and I'm just thinking through it. And what that does is it puts all the mystery of, ooh, a master's degree, and it basically tells you, doesn't mean crap. That's what it tells you. Um, after, we get th- after we cut through all of it, that's what it came down to. So good question. That's interesting. Thanks for letting me walk through that with you.